the Discovery Awards, our first inductee into the Hall of Fame. I would say probably everybody in this room tonight has benefited because of the work of Dr. Henry Marshall Torrey. It's quite extraordinary that Torrey is somewhat unknown today in Nova Scotia, considering that he left such an extraordinary legacy in education and in academic research. Henry Marshall Torrey was born in the tiny farming community of Port Shoreham near Guysborough. One of six children, Henry became a teacher to earn enough money to put himself through McGill University. He excelled at university. He won the gold medal when he graduated in 1890. And he was so well respected by his professors that they hired him to teach at the university. He was the person who built up the McGill University postgraduate program in physics. 1903, McGill received a request from the government in British Columbia to send someone out to start a university. Dr. Torrey goes out and he, he begins to demonstrate a natural ability to organize and to manage and to create something like a university. Dr. Torrey was about to return to McGill when the Premier of Alberta asked him to set up a university in Edmonton. There was strong opposition from those who thought it should be in Calgary. And he finally won, but it was because of his ability to persuade people in a very harmonious way. He was not a pompous individual at all. When they uh, broke the ground for the arts building at the University of Alberta, he, he was guiding the plow and the Premier was holding the reins. During World War I, the federal government asked Dr. Torrey to set up a university for soldiers serving overseas. Dr. Torrey's Khaki University gave over 300,000 soldiers the opportunity to improve their education. In the 1920s, Prime Minister Mackenzie King asked Dr. Torrey to spearhead an organization that would provide research funds to university academics. There were people who were opposed to setting up the National Research Council. Why do we need that? That's just a way of spending more money. He had to convince many people we should be doing research ourselves. It made all the difference in the world as far as research going on in universities in Canada. In the early 1940s, Dr. Torrey was asked to spearhead yet another university. So at the age of 79, Dr. Torrey created Carleton University. He stepped down as president just before his death in 1947. I think he's the most balanced person that uh, I've ever read about. He just seemed to be intent on doing good.